Fitting the F-10 with the O-56 engine led to some structural modifications. First of all, we had to redesign the exhaust system while the oil system in the car was modified. But above all, we had to get rid of the Kurs attachment, which was a characteristic of the 2009 engine. Naturally, we tried to improve performance, but this only led to limited advantages because the engine development is frozen. Some parts have been redesigned, bearing in mind that at the same performance level, we can cut the costs for an engine production. From a technical point of view, reducing consumption was definitely one of the most interesting things this year. As far as the engine is concerned, we work to explore new and unusual fields of application for a Formula One engine, and we obtained some really interesting results. I'd like to underline that the work regarding the consumption reduction was teamwork, involving engine engineers, track engineers, and last but not least, the drivers. Drivers with plenty of experience, like Felipe and Fernando, will definitely be an advantage for Ferrari. Furthermore, I'd just like to underline that our historical technical partners, like Shell, contributed an important share to the consumption reduction. Consumption means performance. This is the way the engineers can directly contribute to the car's performance. There won't be any refueling anymore, so consuming less means less petrol on board and therefore better lap times. Whoever consumes less will be faster on the track. I haven't said anything about the reliability so far, but reliability is something which is always part of everything we do. Naturally, creating an engine which consumes less brings about higher risks in terms of reliability. We worked very hard during the winter with our simulations and so we're confident that our package will definitely be reliable at the start of the season and we'll continue working on it. In our simulations we've always been very attentive as far as the engine's use on track is concerned. Here too, partners like Shell have contributed a great deal to the development of lubricants and fuels, always in line with the current regulations.